Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to another season of Big Brother. It is time for the season 21 cast reveal and assessment. But first, a little housekeeping. This premieres June 25th. It's going to be a two night premiere. Yep. I believe it's 8 p.m. Eastern. And on the first night, you guys should come hang out with me and watch the premiere with me. I'm going to be at uh, Big Brother Group's annual premiere party in New link York City. Link in the info box below. Yeah, follow the link below if you want more info. It's going to be super fun. There's going to be all sorts of BB uh, former house guests. And I don't know, I have to check. It always looks like so much fun. Yeah, in the past, um, there's been some Canadian house guests as well. Mm -hmm. And I believe there will be this time. So Whoa. check it out. Should be a lot of fun. And I would love to see you guys there. I won't be going, but... You'll be there in spirit. Yes. All right. Um, Jeff is back this season mm -hmm. doing the uh, pre-game interviews. Yes. Yeah. So these <laughs> pre yeah right these preseason um, perceptions are being brought to you by <laughs> what we gathered from the interviews with Jeff and, the and their written bios. So we haven't seen the Ica interviews yet. We are very anxiously awaiting them because she always does such a fantastic job yeah. and uh we'll probably just check out some other random stuff before the season starts too so this is just like initial first impressions of course yeah. once it starts things are going to change it always happens so i mean look at how much they've changed already you know for a fact that the bios are written before they're even booked for the show. Oh yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that the questions that they answer in those written bios are from when they're in the semifinals. Right. So. So a lot has changed. Uh, when Jeff gets a hold of these guys, they've already been in sequester, absorbing Big Brother transdermally 24 hours a day in sequester. So they're like, oh wait, that's what this game is? Mm -hmm. So it's completely different than their bios. So the All bios right. are almost useless. Yeah, it's just to get an idea of who we're going to be yeah. watching all summer. Right. All right, well, let's just dive right into it. We got 16 new house guests. There are no returners yet. I don't think there will be, but everybody's always talking about it. Oh, wow. The first girl's name is Analyze. No! It's Annalise, but it's spelled Anal. Lice. It's a very pretty name, but we couldn't resist after Brett's joke last season but you know <laughs> all right she's 22 she's from california i'm sure she's a nice girl mm -hmm. she's a soccer player she's a young and she just graduated from college right. she is a community health science person mm -hmm. i guess that's what her degree is in she is single and she is ready to a mingle oh, she boy. wants cute guys on a plate uh, she is very emotional, though, which guys just love so much, don't they? Uh, <laughs> she, she cries She says that she lot. cries a lot. So but that's she, gonna be fun. That's always a recipe for success. She might success cry a TV. lot, but please. She is also funny and outgoing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people said, uh, oh, I'm outgoing. That was the first way of describing themselves. That's a good thing when you're trying out for a show where you're on TV. You want to be outgoing. Because that's why I never made it. Oh. oh, well. She'd love to get a job tanning, though. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, that's... I'd like I'd like a job effing around, too, every day. Tanning, though? Like, She's going to miss her dog, Or, Fergie. like, actual no, she tanning wants to and have getting, like, skin people... cancer. Pay her to sit outside and tan. That's not good for your skin. She's not thinking about that. She's trying to make a funny joke. All right. Well, she was the first of almost all of them to say that she will miss her dog most of all. You know what? I just had a thought before that what if this twist this season was that these people were just being the handlers for their dogs that were actually playing <laughs> the game. That would be hilarious. And they would have to like interpret and do gameplay and everything and then all of the competitions would be like dog oriented. Like dog agility. Yeah. <laughs> Fix this puzzle. Put your toys away. Well, Eat all your food. After seeing how many dog lovers there are this season, my theory was that it's a house full of dog lovers except for one cat, cat lover. lover. Yeah. That person is like the saboteur. Right. 
Wouldn't that be a great twist, though? You I mean, know. everything is so dog now. I mean, all these people seem really into their dogs, and I'm here for it because I'm all really into my dogs, too. So. Me, too. Good for them. All right, well, her BB faves are Evil Dick, his daughter, Danielle, and Tyler Crispin. Interesting grouping. Yes. Uh, she's a self-proclaimed sassy bitch. <laughs> this is where her bio started to go off the rails a little bit for me because, like, I thought I had a good idea of who she was in the, you know, at first. Was she drinking as she was filling this out? And yeah. She's, I'm a sassy bitch. And then she said something like, oh, my motto is be a badass with a good ass. What? <laughs> Please. Uh, she only eats cheese cheeseburgers plain with ketchup. Okay. Um, they're not plain if they have ketchup. I guess she means like I don't want I think pickles she means, or onions yeah, or anything all the else other like stuff. that. Lettuce, whatever. Yeah. Whatever you want. Um, and then Jeff, of course, had to ask his oh classic question. Oh my god! Would you rather win? and be hated by America, or lose and be loved by America. And thank God she started things off right by saying she doesn't care what America thinks. She F wants America. to win. So that's cool. Thank you for, for that. Uh, Jeff also asked everyone, or almost everyone, what their hashtag would be. I'm going to stand by my thing. I said in the past, if I was ever asked this by Jeff, my hashtag would be pizza slut. <laughs> and it still would be. Okay. <laughs> what would yours be? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going on this show. You can't make me. Oh my god, you can't play along. Hashtag mom. Okay. okay. Alright, so hers was hashtag thank ya Jesus, not thank you Jesus. Thank ya Jesus. Okay, well this year we decided to do something a little extra. We wanted to be Jeff, so we're gonna... We're gonna assign hashtags right. to each of the house guests. So mine for her would be basic. Oh, mine was hashtag flirt. I see her bouncing around to all the different guys, I think. Uh, I think she'll be very popular with the guys. Probably. All right, let's get to the next victim. That would be David, 29, from Georgia. I believe it's Hotlanta, Georgia. Yeah, I believe you're right. Recruit? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He's a photographer, he's into CrossFit, so hopefully there'll be someone else who's into CrossFit. I believe so that there they was. Can... We're going to be learning a lot about CrossFit this summer. They're going to be talking about CrossFit 24-7. Yep. Uh, Jeff was asking him about slop. Slop is good for you. It's full of vitamins and uh, nutritional things and... Get ready for that cement in your intestines. Yeah. Boy, when you start farting like a howitzer, oh. everyone will know it. Okay. Well, his strategy, uh, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he's going to make everyone friend. No, I was going to say, oh. his strategy is to watch the show and sequester. Well, that's what he said for his bio. Because he's a recruit, so he hasn't really seen much of the show. He doesn't know At how all. it works. And then uh, in the Jeff interview, he said his strategy was going to make everyone his friend. I mean, I feel like... That's what everyone says now. They're like, I'm going to make personal connections with everyone so they feel like they can't get rid of me and they don't want to get rid of me. And I feel like that's a trend that we've seen a lot in the last few years because everybody is coming in saying, I'm going to lay low, yeah. blah, blah, blah. I'm going to make personal connections with everyone. But you know, that's not how it actually turns out most no. of the time. Well, what do you expect? He's a recruit. He also said he had the gift of gab. He can cry on command. He might have the gift of gab, but the things that he's saying are off the wall. <laughs> his, his written bio was a little bit weird. We were getting crazy. some really strange facts out of him. He has perfect teeth with wisdom teeth and no braces. Like when his wisdom teeth came in, they didn't push his natural teeth, didn't he s his uh, original teeth, like out of uh, alignment. Or He said like only 8 to 10% of people have this. Uh, he only drives a stick shift. He's never driven an automatic. Well, too bad we're not on The Amazing Race. I know, right? right? Maybe this was his bio from The Amazing Race. <laughs> Maybe. Rice. And they said, you're not going on that show. You're going to go on this one. Yeah. He said he's an honest person because he's reading an ethics book right now. Dude, this is not the place for your ethics book. I admire it, but this is not the place. His hashtag was David's going to do David. I like that because that means F you America. I don't care what you think. I'm going to play this game how I want to play it and I'm not pandering to the crowd for votes yet. 
I just and hope, <laughs> my hope for him, because he seems like a really cool guy, I like him as a person so I far. Do too. I hope he's not going to turn out, no offense, to be a Damien from Big Brother Canada who's super likable, super cool, but then doesn't know how doesn't to play the game. D. And he just like hangs out at summer camp because that would really be a bummer. Yeah, I want to see him do well. That's a letdown. He's single. He's looking forward to having a break from life, aka uh, social media, because it's ruining everything. Yeah, but he also seemed a little bit nervous in his written bio about changing up his routine because he seems like he's really like schedule and routine driven yeah so we'll see how he does with that well my hashtag for him was too good for this shit <laughs> i would agree i feel like he seems like a really honest person and stuff and when he gets in the house and realizes what this game is really like he's, he doesn't he's not <laughs> He's going to hate himself, and he doesn't want to hate himself. He's going to be like a Joey Lawrence and want to get out of there. Um, my hashtag was in over his head. Mm -mm. I don't think he realizes what he just signed up for. Got stuck on the bottom of his shoe. <laughs> All right. Christy's up next. She's 28. She was crying the second her interview started. I think they had to hold the interview because she was out of control. <laughs> Jeff was like... Um, Calm down, honey. He was like uh, on 30 Rock when Jack has the broom. He's like, they're there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of New Yorkers this season. A lot of Staten Island, a lot of Long Island, a lot of New Jersey going right. on here. So she is from Staten Island. She's a boutique owner. Mm -hmm. Did we called... mention she's 28? Yes. Okay. It's called Mystic Earth. <laughs> OMG, you guys. It's time to manifest. She's outgoing and edgy i love when people describe themselves as edgy i know i feel like an edgy person wouldn't say that they're edgy. i know <laughs> but anyway i feel like i manifested her because <laughs> i really wanted another caitlin type personality and i, I think, think this is her did. yeah i think this is her she's gonna use her sexy she's a feminine lesbian yeah she's so, got go ahead she's gonna play the middle She's going to pretend she's into the guys and hope the girls won't be pissed about it. I don't know that she's, like, pretending, though. I think she wants to, like, flirt with them, but she's not going to hide her sexual preference. But, like, she's still going to flirt with the guys, but she feels like because she's going to be... Guys are stupid? She's... <laughs> she feels like because she's going to be open about her sexuality that the girls... I don't mean all guys are stupid. I mean, like, if she finds a stupid guy who's, like, you know what I mean? I mean, she's thinking that the girls won't target her for flirting with the guys because she's going to make it known that she's a lesbian. But, like, I feel like... Not every girl cares about what the guys think of them, though. I feel like the girls are still going to be like, you're flirting with my guys? Um, I don't know. <laughs> my hungry guys? I don't know. Yeah, right? Totina's pizza yeah. rolls. All right. So, outgoing and edgy, controlling... Ooh. Um, that's not a good recipe for this house. Another <laughs> annoying thing, she's the whistling girl. A lot of people don't like whistling. Including production. And me. Uh, she's always singing. That's going to be a problem for production. There's going to be a lot of, Christy, stop that. No, we mean it this time. Stop that. Yeah. She loved Jeff and Jordan and Paul Abraham, Abrahamian. Abrahamian? Is that his name? <laughs> I'm Paul. Paul. You guys know Paul. Yeah. All right. So, uh, not to be confused with Paul Lee, because I don't think anybody liked him. <laughs> That's not true. All right. So, her strategy is sex, 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 and more sex. She kept really pushing that. She really wants to push the flirting game. Her, mo her motto, as probably Caitlyn's was, manifest the shit out of it. Oh, yeah. She's going to have a problem, though, because she likes to take a bubble bath every single night. <laughs> Who has time? that i feel like uh she's new to lesbianism because she said that she dated guys for nine years before she realized that she didn't like them i don't know so i mean she's had both sides of the veritable coin mm -hmm. uh she's also a page girl yep gotta love a page girl in the beauty yep. house um, she started watching during season eight, so I would qualify her as more than a fan, but less than a super fan. Okay. Right? I view a super fan as somebody who watches live feeds, or at least yeah. keeps up with live feeds. 
you right. know? This is great. She wants to do a gratitude circle every day. I'm so here Three for it. Three things that you're happy or <laughs> proud of or You're happy about the for. air conditioning. You're yeah. grateful for your mom. Um, I think that this is going to bring people together at first. People are going to want to do it to be like, oh, I'm, you know, gelling with the group, blah, blah, yeah. blah. But then after a while, people are going to be like, I've got time for I'm this. I'm not doing this. I'm hiding in my bed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, she's a serial monogamist, but she's single at the moment. Okay. And she said, this is the time of Christy. Oh, yeah. That reminds me of Summer of Steve. <laughs> you know how well that went. All right, uh, Clueless Jeff, when she said her hashtag was Let's Go Murph, was like, Murph, what, what are you talking about? Freaking Jeff, it's her name. Doesn't don't he you... have their names like on the cards or something? Don't you read? What is on those cards? What's in there? <laughs> <laughs> but she, uh, this is disappointing, she says that she would rather lose and be loved. Get out. Christy, come on, come on. Well, she looks like she'll at least be interesting. Oh, yeah, I think so. My hashtag is, all you Canada fans out there, plur. Yeah! Peace, love, unity, unity respect. respect. Okay. Mine was, hashtag, emotional hurricane. I think or she's... emotional volcano. Yeah, I think she's going to cause a lot of drama in the house, mm -hmm. which is exciting as a viewer. Yeah. But I don't think it's really going to do many favors for her game. But I think she's definitely going to be an interesting house guest. Right. All right, we got Jackson, Mississippi up next. <laughs> Jackson, Mississippi. He says he likes to shotgun beers, so. Yep. <laughs> well, his parents named him after Jackson, the capital Mississippi. Of Mississippi, yeah. So, isn't it weird that his last name is Mishy? Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> now he lives in los angeles he is an aspiring actor he's let's see also, if he can act when he's in there yeah he's also a natural salesman oh boy the scum of the earth sorry <laughs> salesmen are such liars though i can't stand it especially used car salesmen he's driven he's confident he hunts he works out he eats a lot of food and he was very concerned about them having enough food for him to eat because he eats daily watermelons and protein bars. When I was a boy, I eat five dozen watermelons and I'm roughly the size of a barge. His head was anyway. <laughs> okay, I don't understand the daily, daily watermelons. I'm hoping he's talking about like sliced watermelon that he buys. I don't think he eats... I mean, he could eat an entire small watermelon That's every day. a lot of watermelon. A lot of people eat fruit before lunch. I guess because it's filling. It's, <laughs> it's mostly water. It's mostly water. <laughs> All right. So his BB faves are Paul and Brett. I can get behind Brett. Um, wasn't a fan of Paul's game. Paul really did. I don't want to get into the whole Paul thing. But yeah. I thought, you know... Paul was a great player. He, he just, was. He was a master manipulator. But he didn't own it. Bitter jury. You're not going to own it? Some mistakes. <laughs> yeah, right, Brett? <laughs> All right. So his strategy is to be physical, but not too physical. To do anything necessary, would he kill? This guy, I feel like he was making a lot of promises that he would later, like, walk back on a little bit yeah you know walk back because he was like yeah i'll do anything but then he's like but i don't want to do anything that's going to affect my family or friends yeah blah, blah blah his motto was moderation is for cowards <laughs> okay i love when everybody's like oh yeah jesus 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 i'm so religious but i could shotgun a beer in 2.5 seconds i mean there's wine in church <laughs> you know yeah, I, I don't mean it just the alcohol. I mean, like, I'm going to lie, cheat, steal, kill. It's a game. It's a game. Yes, but it's still people. Yeah, but even if you're, like, the most Christian person ever, it's a freaking game. This is not real life. For money. It seems so wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. You're just coming to this conclusion now, like, 20 no. years later? <laughs> All right, so he's going to go for it. He's going to go guns ablaze and straight to hell for the first HOH. He wants it. Yeah, he wants that first HOH. He's under the impression that people who win the first HOH. I mean, could in the last the few seasons, they have done really well. They could get really far. They have done well lately. 
So he's looking forward also uh, to get away from the social media. I feel like winning the first HOH is not the huge issue that it used to be. It doesn't put a huge target on your back because usually with the way they cast these things, okay, you win first HOH, you could just get by by saying like, I put up these people because I don't really, mm -hmm. I haven't had the chance to get to know them. And right. then the next week, somebody else is going to blow up their game. So if you just lay low, you should be fine. Yeah, no one's going to come after you if yeah. you just keep your mouth shut. I, he's single. <laughs> My hashtag is Mr. Faketacular. He was also a big uh, Jesse fan. Yeah, used car salesman. He just has that kind of like... He's got that used car smell yeah <laughs> oh yep again these are just first impressions okay? right they so, could, like, he could chill. be a great guy yeah all right we've got jessica who said mm, i'm 30 ish <laughs> okay <laughs> from chicago the only thing i could think of was neely from over the top or uh caitlin from canada who oh, lied about yeah. her age last season yeah you know what you should really just own it who cares about how old they actually are i don't really give a crap i don't either but anyway, uh, she's from Chicago. She's a model. Mm -hmm. She's a plus size model and proud of it. And she should be. Yeah, why not? Um, hey, girl, get that cash, right? She wants to be well liked by doing people's makeup. She said she's going to be spending a lot of time doing makeup in the bathroom area. Uh oh. You know what happened to the girl in Canada who liked to do makeup in the bathroom area for all day? She got voted off. You talking about Chelsea? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, she's very affectionate, she's charismatic, she's creative, mm -hmm. but does she know she's creative? <laughs> Her BB favorites are Dan, Dan Giesling. Yes. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Whoa. Her strategy, I'm, my throat is very dry, I'm sorry. It's okay. We've been talking all day about this. Her strategy is be myself, and myself is fun and laid back. Okay. Her motto is, what you think about me is none of my business. So oh, she's a little sassy. She doesn't care what other people think. Good for you. Mm -hmm. A fun fact about her is that she drove around that uh, Hershey Kiss Mobile for a whole year. Because you travel around from place to place, I mm -hmm. guess, giving out Hershey's Kisses. I guess. It's like a promotion. It's exciting. Thing. That is a fun fact, though. It is a fun fact. She is married. She has a husband. And a daughter. A young daughter. She doesn't grow a lot of hair under her armpits either, uh, because she, and she doesn't sweat under there very much. So What? She cuts her own hair, she sews her own clothes, she takes her own photos. Okay. <laughs> she had six best friends at the time of the bio, but at the time of the Jeff interview, she had seven. I want to know who the seventh is it best Jeff? friend is. Was it Jeff when he just know. became part of the group right, like during the interview? I don't know. She uh, was really into uh, Chicago in her hashtag. She at first said, oh, how about uh, Chi-Town Cutie? And then said, mm, maybe Curvy Cutie. She's really into Cutie. She yeah. wants Cutie in there somewhere. I said, hashtag, just too much. It does seem like she has a very big personality, which again, is fun for us watching it, but don't know if it's going to help out her game. My hashtag was early boot i mean she is on the older side uh obviously being in your 30s that's not old but because there's only like two people or no i guess there's a few 31 year olds but there's only a few people that are above 30-ish 30 30 yeah that could mean like 39 it could i'm just saying like she's not with everybody else in that 20s right. age age range also she's married with a, a child with a so child. That kind of separates her from most of the rest of the cast. So, unfortunately, she could be an early target. Okay. Up next, <laughs> Nick. All right. 27. He's a therapist from New Jersey. Oh, boy. And he wants to win the first HOH. There's quite a few that said that they wanted to win the first HOH. There's a couple. I feel yeah. like these people come in and they're either like, I want to win that first HOH, or they're like, I'm going to lay low until the final four. Right. And then they change their mind when they get in there anyway. Yeah. He is also outgoing, caring, talkative. Ooh, he is talkative, and he talks a mile a minute. Boy, he has got some bathroom issues, though, honey. <sighs> He's really got some bathroom hang-ups. He's not going to be able to drop a duke with the pretty girls around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a problem, um, unless you win HOH and you got a private B. And we are mentioning this because he mentioned it 
multiple times. Yeah. He's got some real bathroom issues here. Some real anal retentive issues. He right? He's a therapist. I'm sure he, you know, gets the connection here. Who is that? Freud with the, yeah. the different stages? Yep. Okay. All right, so he is a big sports fan. He watches a lot of sports. He drinks a lot of booze. He hooks up a lot. That's his That's his week there. He watches sports. He drinks. He hooks up. I'm sure he works, too. Yeah, he when he's not working. He does seem like a really nice guy, and it seems like he really cares about people, which I think is cool. It's funny that he's got a therapist, that he is a therapist, because it seems like he's got a lot of issues. I feel like a lot of therapists... They don't usually into, talk about it. Go though. into therapy because... They have issues? And they, like, want to learn more about You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. that's just something that I've observed. I don't know. And again... Yeah, you're right. It's not like there's anything wrong... No. ...with going I'm, to therapy. There's such a stigma around not. it. Absolutely not. Yeah. Everyone should go it to therapy. It can work wonders. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And everyone should. If you've got a problem, don't hesitate to go to therapy. As you he will said feel at the end of his So much interview. better. Yeah. Yes. I thought that was cool that he stuck yeah. that in there. Yeah. Full disclosure, we've both been to therapy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, um, his BB faves are Tyler. He's he's watched since BB-17. He was the one that said he started watching because there was, like, a tornado in his town, and he watched at his aunt's house, right? Hey, there was no power, and the TV was, that had no TV. I was so like, I, what is this? And I was like, oh, I guess I'll watch it. <laughs> he was, wasn't he the one who was freaked out by, yes, James, the Asian dude with oh, a southern yeah. accent. I, I said, I have to watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, he liked Tyler. Yeah. Who doesn't like Tyler? Tyler played a great game. He was fun. He was funny. He had great diary rooms. Okay. Uh, his strategy is to win the first HOH. Yeah, we said that. Yes. Well, I, that was from the interview and then from the bio. Okay. All right. So his motto is live your life like you only die once. Which makes you think that he would like not be a risk taker and stuff but then he was saying that he has like a sport bike or something and he's not afraid of being paralyzed what <laughs> i think he's got a lot of fears i don't know that was a little bit of a weird dichotomy um <sighs> then it got weirder he <laughs> said his dad was a pro bowler and he's bowled multiple 300 games maybe that's why he was a tyler fan too because yeah, tyler, was, tyler a was a bowler yeah he loves sports. Did he did he happen to mention that? Uh, he was voted most talkative in Out of seven hundred students. So this boy has a mouth. Yeah. Uh, he likes to break balls. He likes to bust some balls. <laughs> I like died when he said that. I don't know why. It was just so funny to me. He'd rather lose and be loved, okay? That's one thing you did right. Uh, yes, and he urged everyone Wait. What? Oh, ew. Lose and be loved? Boo. Oh, I sorry. I thought that was the other way around. Never mind. That's stupid. Okay, so he also urged everyone, if you need help, get help. Right. right. Totally agree with that. Okay. My hashtag is OMG, 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 Jersey boy. He is very Jersey. Um, my hashtag was mother boy because he loves his mommy. He does love <laughs> his mommy. I think he's really going to miss his mommy. I think he still lives at home, too. Yeah. Not that, not that, that there's, there's anything, anything wrong, wrong with that. that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I I do like him as a person so far because I feel like he really does care about people. He brought up um, the water crisis in Flint, Michigan and like yeah. helping people in his, his town, his area. Oh yeah, and he's from the same town that one of my roommates from college yes. is from. So that really cracked me up too. Yep. What up, Rita? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got Ovi up next. Mm-hmm. He is 22. He's from Tennessee. He's a college student at is he University still a student of Tennessee. Or did he graduate? He said he's a, he's a college student. Okay. Uh, his motto is "Why not me?" That's Why a not? great motto. Yeah, he seems really like upbeat and positive and fun. I think he's gonna be. I think he's very relatable. Fun to watch. Yeah. I think a lot of people will feel comfortable talking to him because he's very friendly. Yeah. He uh, is into rowing. He's into partying. But he was like, yeah, partying, it's not just like a hobby. It's lifestyle. Ugh! Shouldn't yeah. be a surprise that he founded his own frat at his school. He's not single. He's got a girlfriend. His dog is... Uh, on Instagram. On, yeah. Yeah. What was it? Mowgli, Mowgli the, Corgi. the Corgi. I looked at it and he is very cute. 
He's very cute. Yeah. Cute. He's an up and coming pup influencer. Yeah. Uh, but he said his dog was a little dumb and he was worried about him uh, getting hurt or. Oh, poor puppy. I, I think he'll be okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, his big brother favorite is Hayden and it seems like he really wants to emulate Hayden's game. Right. Because he wants to set up an alliance of people like the brigade. But I don't think he necessarily meant an all guy thing. No. But he wants no. something like the brigade in the sense that it's going to be people. It's going to be a team. Yeah, who have strengths that he himself may not have. He said so. he wasn't the smartest guy in the room, so he could put together the best alliance on the show, though, and use that alliance to dominate. Yeah. He seems to have a lot of plans here because he was talking about that. He was talking about how he's going to manage the jury and like all this stuff. So he's put a lot of thought into this, but. His, he may his just throw that out the window when he starts. was a little pie in the sky, though. Not get any votes until finale night. Yeah. Um, he wants to get to know everyone. He wants to have the Meat Shield Alliance. He always wants to have somebody uh, more I think of a that's threat. smart. It is threat. It is, it is very smart. Uh, he also loves his orange Crocs and his school. He's got his school pin on. And he's, he's all about his school. Very proud of his school. Fun fact, he threw the biggest party on campus and then called the cops to get everyone to leave because they wouldn't. That's crazy. Uh, like she said, he founded his own fraternity. Uh, we also said he has a girlfriend. Uh, he's going to lie for the money. He's got to. He wants game. the money. It's a game. Then Jeff uh, got a little weird. Jeff gave him a hug and then was like... That wasn't the weird part. Yeah, that wasn't the weird part. Then Jeff asked him if he thought that was weird. That he gave him a hug. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, That's like two dudes in a hot tub sitting five feet apart because they're not gay. Yeah. That's Jeff. Okay. <laughs> anyway, moving on. My hashtag is be big T true to your school. <laughs> I was telling her, he almost gave me like a 1950s college student yeah. vibe where he's like, rah, rah, sis boom ba. I got my varsity sweater on and I'm going to the pep rally. Yep. I got my straw hat. <laughs> and your hashtag was? Hashtag frat boy baby face. He's I got such he's, a young face. He seems he so much younger than everybody else. Like, what's her face? And uh, Annalise, isn't she like 22? She seems yeah. so much older than yeah. him. He's like a little baby. I think he's going to be fun. Yeah. I think he's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Jack. Sophisticated Jack. 28. <laughs> from Chicago. He's per personal trainer, I guess. At least Well, that's what he said in his bio, but then he said in his talky interview that he is a photographer so okay maybe he does both i'm a photographer too i take pictures with my phone all the time no but like he uses a camera oh <laughs> um his motto is keep it simple mm -hmm. he can wiggle his ears he is this season's long hair man bun yeah he bears a resemblance to one jason momoa i wonder if anyone's ever told him that I mean, right? But the funny thing is, he doesn't watch Game of Thrones or... And he hasn't also... Yeah. He also hasn't seen Aquaman. So he's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Who am I? Yeah. All right. So he's honest. He's got integrity. He's got character. He loves CrossFit. Yeah. His bio, his written bio was very sparse. It was short. He used his characteristics to describe himself to also describe his strategy. Be honest. Have integrity and good character. And I'm really into my dog, Layla. Everybody loves their dogs! He's got large hands for, uh, for a man his, his size. size. That was bizarre. Um, yeah, my dog is snoring right now. And Sean, can you keep it down, please? <laughs> um, he can walk on his hands as Maybe well. Maybe because they're so big. For a good know. amount of time. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he never gets that he looks like Aquaman, though. I don't know. Well, he is definitely a recruit because yeah. he's just starting to watch the show now in Sequester. He is a jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Punny. Uh, he's master of none, though. He said he's Mr. Mediocrity. Yeah, he's well-rounded, but he's not, like, amazing. I think he sounds like a great uh, He seems really person. cool. The thing is, I feel like, again, he's one of those guys that's really cool, but doesn't know anything about the game, so he might end up just kind of flopping. Well, that was the issue 
almost with Paul in his first season. Yeah, but Paul was able to really learn the game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It. it could have gone horribly wrong, but he figured it out and took over. I feel like that's a rarity, though. Yeah. Most of the recruits come in and they just kind of implode or well, do nothing. He's a control freak. He also hates one-uppers, which I hate. It's like, oh, I went to France this year for vacation. Oh, well, I went to France and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I hate that. It was funny because he uh, was going through an example with Jeff, and Jeff was like, oh, I climbed Mount Fuji. And Jack made a joke, like, oh, I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, which I don't think he actually did. But later on, somebody else actually yeah, did. Yeah, that was really weird. And Jeff was like... <laughs> <laughs> he got it. He got All the right. joke. Well, uh, he cried yesterday in his hotel room. I'm sorry. When was the last time you cried? That was a good question for Jeff. <laughs> Finally. <sighs> and Jeff said he cries all the time, and I believe it. Yeah. Um, my hashtag is BB Simple Jack. Not because he's stupid, but because he, is sad. he doesn't he's know simple. anything he about Big simple. Brother. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't really know about the game. How do you think he's going to do? I think he'll make it straight to the middle. Okay. At least. All right. Uh, because they're going to want to keep him around. Because he's going to win. He's, he's, he's a good guy. We'll see. We'll see. All right. We got Tommy, 28, <gasps> from oh! Staten Island. I want to call him Tom, Tommy Toon because he is yeah. a Broadway dancer. Uh, he's gay, in case you didn't know. He feels like he's probably not going to have a showmance because they only usually have like one gay guy per season. So, But even if they did have a gay guy, he doesn't want to embarrass his mom. He doesn't want to be embarrassed in front of his mom. A he tasteful kiss a would tasteful be nice. Kiss. Oh my god, I love him! I know. <laughs> his BB fave would be Davon. Aww. Um, he's been a fan since season 14. Yeah, so he also liked Ian from right. season 14. But I'm glad that... Not to crap on Davon, but like he did mention her shortcomings uh, as a player, and the reason I'm mentioning this is because I think it shows that he does understand the game. He does understand the game because Davon was so good at figuring things out, and she was super perceptive, but then mm -hmm. she didn't know how to use that information. So hopefully, he will know. He'd like to be the mother of the house because he sees that his mom takes care of the family and she is love. So he figures. Aww. If I take care of the people in the house, they'll love me. There's always got to be that person that does a lot of cleaning, a lot of cooking. Right. And you feel like you don't want to get rid of them. He also would like to have like an Ian strategy where he looks like, uh, you know, nothing threatening in the beginning and then start to come on strong at the end before people realize and then it's all too late mm -hmm. for them. <laughs> All right, so his motto is always go full out. Uh, basically, sing out, the mirror. Louise, sing out. Don't mark it. Do it full out. That's right. Uh, he loves to make short films. That's fun. So do we. Mm -hmm. He loves to sleep with his baby blanket. Aww. Still, I can't wait to see. Um, he was in Newsies and Pretty Woman. He is a big deal. He is original cast Pretty Woman, and that is a big accomplishment. Yeah. I have a feeling he's, like, a really good dancer because Newsies is a very demanding yeah. show, dance-wise. Absolutely. Uh, I think he's got some great stories, too, that I really want to hear. Yeah, I want to hear some Broadway behind-the-scenes I know, the right? Stories. Please. He knows Christy. His okay. He didn't, like, say this, though. Right, of course, we saw this. all of the super fans have already sleuthed it out. Apparently, Christy dated his aunt. Whoa. So, there's, like, an Instagram photo of them together. So, apparently which, they know each other. Which got us to thinking, wow, there is an awful lot of parallels this season. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are the twists going to be? There's, like, two CrossFit guys. Slash photographers. Right. Uh, two page girls, at right. least. There's people two from public the same health school. people. Yeah, so there's a lot of potential connections here. So let us know in the comments what, what you guys think. What your conspiracy theories are. We want to know. Do you think it's like a duo season? Like a lot of people are referencing season six where they had some people were friends, some people were enemies, but there was some kind of connection. Right. Could be interesting. Um, he loves his Italian family. Mm -hmm. uh, also, he has felt like he's been living Big Brother for the last two years because... What happens on Broadway is before they bring a show to Broadway, they do it in a alternate city. They develop the show. The people in the original cast stay there. 
they uh, work it out, mm -hmm. they block out the show, and then they bring it to a big market like Broadway, and they put it on there. So he's been doing everything with people in the show. Thank you for that lesson in Broadway. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we were just talking about this last week, anyway. But anyway. He loves his Italian family. He's going to miss the Jersey Shore this summer because they go there and they just F around all summer and mm -hmm. it's fun and yeah. Apparently they're pretty wild because they've been kicked out of Broadway shows before. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> his hashtag is the functioning dysfunctional. You know that Tommy is a champ because he passed the test. He said he would rather be hated yeah. and win than lose and be loved. All right. We actually have three hashtags for him. Mine is Broadway Baby. Okay. I have Jersey Boys. As in the musical. Yeah. <laughs> and hashtag the favorite. He is one of my favorites so far. Oh my yeah, god, obviously. Him. Love him. All right. Next up, we have Holly, 31. She is a wine safari guide. Okay, when I heard that job title, my mind immediately went to like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette because mm -hmm. you know how they come up with those ridiculous yeah. jobs? Well, it turns out she actually dated, what was this, like Luke or something? Yeah, from, I think. I don't remember what season he's on. I haven't watched in a long time, but there is that connection there. So there you go. She's from Wyoming. She lives in LA now. Uh, she actually works at a winery that has like exotic animals. Interesting. And she is a sommelier. And hopefully it's more of a sanctuary than... I think it is a okay. sanctuary. It's in Malibu. Right. She also fosters dogs. Mm -hmm. She's spontaneous. She's sarcastic, relentless. In what way? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I, I guess it means, you know, like she's Determined. persevering. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, her BB fave is none. She's not going to BS us. She, uh, she hasn't watched it enough. She's our rock group. She fell off a cliff and survived. What? I wonder if that was in Malibu. I don't or, know. Or Wyoming. It was like a in a car though. It wasn't oh, like Sean Garris's wife. It oh, okay. was like yeah, in a car. All right. It's well, wild. another fun fact that I found very intriguing was she does the Oregon Trail every summer in a bonnet. Well, I think she said she used to. I don't know if she does it anymore. Okay. Um, okay. Was this like a reenactment thing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, she wants to trust people, but she don't want to get got. I don't blame her. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole game, right? In a mm -hmm. nutshell. Uh, she's single and skeptical. So she could be up for a showmance, but again, she doesn't want to get played. She does seem like showmance bait. Yeah. She's not a crier normally, but, you know. Even Angela cried last season. <laughs> and she was a robot. <laughs> All right. For she, the first half. Yeah. Uh, she'd rather lose and be loved. Oh, my heart just died a little bit there. Uh, yeah. My hashtag, I'm sorry, Holly proved me wrong, but bored to no tears. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was country glamour because I couldn't think of anything else. I feel like, yeah, she's a recruit, but I feel like she's kind of tough. So maybe she'll be able to make something happen here. I don't know. I hope she's not just one of those ones that gets in a showmance and then like I feel like she's going to be boring, but like I said, prove me wrong. You never know. All right, well. You, you never know what's going to happen when these people are mixed together. You know who's not boring in her own mind? Catherine, 29, from Texas. Oh my God. The second I saw this girl, I thought, oh my God, she's like a Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders yeah. wannabe. And she is. <laughs> She's actually a digital marketing executive. Mm -hmm. It's like a junior bridal suite. Um, but she was on the show in the training camp for uh, Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. She, yeah, she went to training camp, so I'm assuming she was on the show. We haven't watched it as regularly as we used to. But Kelly and Judy said you're the first one out. <laughs> Apparently, she was. Like, this the will first be your one last night. Camp. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, do you watch that show? It's a lot of fun. You should check it, it out. It used to be a lot of fun, but now it's a little bit repetitive, so I kind of like... Well, I guess she's it. not a world-class entertainer. I guess. All right. Uh, she's reliable, hardworking, fun. She's a um, recruit. You know what? Congratulations <laughs> to her for admitting it and not trying to BS her I, way through it. I prefer when they admit that they're recruits. Me too. There's nothing wrong with it. We need recruits. No, I totally everybody agree. Everybody was a super fan. A lot of people are like, oh, boring. they should have all people that applied to be on the show. So many people apply. But they really do need to have a mix because yes. the recruits keep it interesting. 
It seems this season, though, is one of the most recruit-heavy seasons. I don't think it is. I, I think, think a lot is. of these people auditioned. Okay, maybe. Um, she has no faves because she don't know the show. Okay. <laughs> she don't know. She don't know. Well, her strategy, like, at least half of the rest of the house is to stay under the radar. The radar online? <laughs> yeah. All right. Her <laughs> motto is happiness is the same price as red bottoms. I did not understand this. I still don't. It sounds bad. I, is it like a Christian Louboutin thing? Is it like you're getting hit on the butt for being bad? I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. She is, uh, she's been tweeted by Kim Kardashian. I feel like this is not my kind of player. No. I'm sorry, Catherine, but I just don't. She said, you have to stab people in the back. Okay. But then she said the thing that really tipped this thing to the, she is an aspiring influencer she kept going on and on about well she's a digital marketing executive. i know but she's, she's going on and on about how she loves social media and blah 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 blah. so you know she's going to be playing it up for america yeah that's what i'm afraid of she wants to win and be hated well that's really. that's a, a plus for her right yeah. that's not the answer Did i was she expecting mean it though? i don't know i think she wants to be loved on instagram mm. um my hashtag is are you ready Okay. <laughs> Mine is social media mogul hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Up next is Isabella or Bella, mm -hmm. as she said in her uh, interview. Yep. 22 public health analyst. She's from Jersey originally and she moved to California. Okay. She likes spending other people's money. What? Is, is she? she is she looking for a sugar daddy? I don't know, but she seemed really interesting from her written bio. Mm -hmm. Um, it seems like she's gonna be a handful. A handful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's spontaneous. She's reckless. She's generous. Her motto is, "It ain't that serious." We got a couple of reckless people in here. Yeah, don't we? that's right. Didn't you a few people say that? Leave me reckless. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, anyway, um, she had a tiger mom. Oh, I mom. couldn't read what that said. Yeah. She talked a lot about having a tiger mom. She lied to her tiger mom to climb Mount Kilimanjaro with On her boyfriend. Break. And it was her first time hiking. What? Who does that? Her, she does. That seems dangerous. Bella does that. I guess. Her strategy, uh, well, first of all, she's not into weed and she doesn't like people who are into weed because they're lazy. She doesn't want to sit around and eat all day. She just lost 50 pounds. She's not yeah. putting it back on. Her strategy is her social game. She's going to make a point of saying good morning to everyone every morning. Every okay. day without fail. I mean, she aren't you kind of like a dick if you don't? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have the best memory. Um, so some of the challenges are going to be challenging for her because a lot of the ones toward the end are memory very memory based. heavy. Yeah. She said... Oh, don't worry, Jeff. America won't hate me. I can't remember. Was she like a fan of the show or kind of? I can't remember I for think. her. Um, uh, hashtag mommy issues. Yeah, I don't know. I I foresee her maybe having some issues with people getting along with everyone, but I really want her to do well, and I really feel like she's going to be entertaining. My hashtag for her was wild card because. I think she could either be great or she could totally tank her own game. My alternate hashtag was diva. Okay. Yeah. But I think she is going to be fun to watch. That's for sure. Yeah. All right. Um, speaking of divas, we have Kimi. Kemi. Kemi. <laughs> 25. She's originally from the D.C. area and she moved to New York. Brooklyn. Now she feels like she's a Brooklynite because yeah. she's lived there for six months. Okay. Okay. New she, York is welcoming. Yeah. She is a marketing strategist. I feel like her and Bella are either going to like... Be best friends. Be best or friends or... Buttheads. Yeah. She's positive. She's goal-oriented by any means necessary. Oh my god. She is self-admittedly a, a bitch. bitch. <laughs> She's a bitch. She's a marketing analyst. <laughs> Strategist. All right, remember that she song? She a lover and a friend. Yeah. <laughs> She's uh, feeling like she had some growth 
in the last few years because she has now been able to discern from feeling provoked versus being provoked. Does she know the difference now though? I don't know. Well, she loves to contribute to the economy by shopping and eating out. Yeah. And she... she go, go ahead. ahead. No, <laughs> go ahead. She likes to walk around and pretend to be on her phone so she avoids peasants interaction. <laughs> she did not say peasants. That's what I read it as. She's got a girl crush on Rachel, Brendan, and Jessica Graff. So she definitely likes the big personalities. And I, I see her fitting in to that group or that I like stereotype on the show. She's really like immature though. Because all she kept talking about was like, I'm young. I can F around all I want because I'm still young. Yeah. <laughs> I get a pass because I'm young. Well, it sounds like she is potentially interested in a showmance. Potentially? She, um, she was talking about how she's going to at first try and get along with everyone. But if that doesn't work out, she's going to burn this place down. She is yeah. like freaking uh, Khaleesi. Yeah. If she, I'm gonna tell my dragon to. <laughs> she's gonna Drakaris this house. Yeah. Uh, if she doesn't get her way, or maybe even if she does, I don't know. But um, she wants to be in a showman so she can tag team win the competitions to the end. One of us will win each wish. One will win veto, and then we'll keep switching. I really don't like how uh, she was talking about guys. Like she has a mini Dalmatian that was bought by one of her ex boyfriends oh my God, called so Billion. Cute. And it was very expensive, apparently, and she dumped him two weeks later. And then she started talking about how she has a blog about her exes for entertainment. Yeah, but then at first I was like, whoa. But then when she was talking about something that one of the guys said on a date, I was like, well, you know what? Good for her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know why? Because she attracts the wrong type of guy. I don't know. Because she just wants guys with... She wants to use... I feel like she wants to use guys for their money. I might be totally wrong, but... We don't know these people. Anyway. All right. She's single. And she hates overly emotional people. <laughs> victim noises. For no reason. So... Yeah. There's going to be some tension there with some of these people. Yeah. Her hashtag was... Kisses, Kimi. It's Kami. Kami. <laughs> Sorry, it's the first day. It's my first day back. My hashtag was shallow and not Lady Gaga shallow. Oh. Mine is hashtag Queen of the DR. I think she's going to have some really funny diary room sessions. But she really does seem like one of the funniest this season. Talking about how she's going to leave the house in a different tax bracket. At least she she's wants funny. to win and be hated. Yeah. All right, so that was a positive. We ended on a positive note. All right, next up, we usually just say the first name this season, but <laughs> I have to say the full name for this guy, Cliff Hogg the Third. The Third. Do you think he's related to Whitney Hogg from OTT? Oh, maybe. He's 53. Maybe it's her daddy. I'm sure there's many other hogs out there. Yeah. Well, he's from Texas, mm -hmm. and he's a petroleum engineer. He's all about the hats and the boots. Oh, my God, he's a country boy. Thank God he's a country boy. He's a super fan, too. He's been watching, what, since season eight, I think, I think he said? So. Seems like a lot of people started in season eight. Yeah. That's when we started reviewing well, it. Well, reviewing it, but we started watching it. Oh, we started it watching it from, from day one. Yeah. I haven't missed an episode. All right. Funny, stubborn, caring. He's into water sports. No, not that Lake. kind. Okay. <laughs> Fishing. He's also into gardening. He made it a point of saying how uh, he was growing loofahs and, and weird Jeff was vegetables. Like, I thought that was plastic. Those are body puffs, Jeff. There's a difference. All right. Um, he's also got some strong political views. He didn't say what they are yet, but I'm sure we'll hear it on the show. I think we know. Uh, his favorites are Derek and Vanessa and Dan because they were smart, but Vanessa not so much because she was emotional. Yeah, he did say that. His favorite was Derek, though. Mm -hmm. uh, his strategy is to be a loyal soldier and then create chaos. Um, <laughs> I, okay, I find the chaos strategy really interesting and I enjoy watching it. But I worry for Cliff using it. Especially at his age. I feel like 
the chaos strategy is better for someone who doesn't already have a target on their back. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But then again, I mean, maybe it'll make other people bigger targets. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, it's risky in his position because he is the oldest and he's going to have a huge target. Well, you know in. what he's got to say to you about that? His motto is never let others tell you what you can and can't do. I agree. Good for you. And never be afraid to stand up for what you believe in, even if it's creating chaos. Okay. He, I think he's going to have lots of stories. From what he was already sharing. Sleeping yes. under bulletproof blankets. And... Well, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't either. Did he grow that in his garden? I don't know. He's married. He's got two uh, kids in their 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, he wants to win and be hated. Good for you. Uh, Jeff didn't ask him about hashtag. Does he know about hashtags? Don't know. Mine is Chaos Cliff. Mine was first boot. Oh, but I'll put a question mark after that because yeah. you never know. Look at how long Kevin was around, or Karen from BB Canada. Look at Kevin. Kevin was 53 when he was yeah, on the show. Kevin. Oh, I thought you said Karen. I said both. Okay. Sam, 31, from Pennsylvania. Oh my God. First of all, his name is Sam Smith. Why don't you stay with me? <laughs> he hopes he's going to stay with you. This right. guy is freaking Charlie Day from Always Sunny. Yeah. He's <laughs> a lot. He is a lot, but he's a happy guy, and I like that. He seems very happy. He has got a very positive attitude. He's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. He's a truck driver, but not the kind that sleeps in the truck. He's home every night to kiss his kids goodnight. Okay. He's outgoing, bold, comical. He's not lying. He's into pool parties. He's into basketball. Um, this his... is the kind of guy that I could just listen to talk all day because... He's crazy. He's got crazy <laughs> energy about yeah. him. I don't mean he's crazy. No, I mean... it's just like, whoa. It's a lot, and I He's love it. He's uh, a chaotic good. Right. <laughs> he loves Derek. A lot of people said Derek. Mm -hmm. um, especially, I mean, especially a lot of the, like, older guys. Yeah. I feel like Derek is going to be their favorite player because right. they're like, hey, I could do that. His strategy, it was all over the place. He's like, be true, but be a bit of a rat. Ooh, um, he's going to be a rat. Come in uh, blazing guns to hell, and then, you know, then <laughs> lay low, and then... I don't think he knew what he wanted, really. I don't know, but he must be a Todd Chrisley fan, because he said, you're taking up too much space. No. Nope. If you're <laughs> not <laughs> living on the edge. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did you guys ever notice how far the Chrisleys sit on the edge of their couches in the interviews? That's dangerous. <laughs> anyway. All right. His claim to fame is he was model of the week in Weekender Magazine. He also got interviewed by his local radio station. He really oh, loves yeah. that, like, small town the celebrity small town thing. notoriety. Yeah. He's married with two kids, so ladies, back off. He cried yesterday, and he told a story about how he sings this song to his son. His son. He's got the whole Bradley. world in his hands. <laughs> All right, so that was very touching. Yeah. And I like him. He also told about how he needs the money to pay for his son's hospital bills. He racked up quite a few bills. They didn't fix their swimming pool. Because it got a uh, messed up. Um, I think he's a nice guy. Yeah. But um, he needs to keep rethinking his strategies. Because he was like, yeah, I was thinking I was going to go in there. And during the little, like, introduce yourself to everybody circle in the beginning with the champagne. Yeah. He was going to be like, let's have everybody make the biggest alliance. And then he was like, whoa, I realized I probably shouldn't do that. No. <laughs> uh, his wife keeps his house really clean. And he likes that. And he knows that this place smells like a garbage dump because Jeff complained about it yeah. smelled like tacos when he had gone in one time. And he doesn't know if he's going to be able to deal with that, but he doesn't want to be a complainer. Yeah. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to go full dirty if I have to. Yeah. I'm going to go method and be dirty. Exactly. Uh, he also wants to win and be hated. My hashtag for him is the wife because he kept saying i hate guys that's one of my pet peeves the guys that are like oh the wife this the wife that that's a little weird it's a little weird it's a little weird um mine was hashtag always sunny because he just reminds me so much of charlie day with yeah. his speech patterns and whatnot yeah <laughs> but i i like him i hope he's gonna I do like be around a for a bit he's, i think he's, he's an interesting character very interesting mm -hmm. okay last up we have can you believe we made it to the end? Congratulations if you made it this far. This video is hella long. Yeah. Sorry. But we want to be thorough. 
We've got Nicole, 24 years old. Oh my God, it's another nerdy girl named Nicole on the show. Oh my God, from Long Island, New what? York. What, more? I'm like a preschool aide. Oh, she had, oh my God, there are some heavy accents some heavy. here. Especially in New York, but she had this like Rosie O'Donnell, yes. heavy New York accent. All right, she's hard working. She's determined, she's hilarious. She's a nerd girl. <laughs> she loves reading, music, and drawing. All of the finer things in life. Mm -hmm. Her BB favorite is Paul. And she is a super fan. Yes, she is. She's going to try and hide that from people, which I think is always a smart move. Yes. Her strategy is play by staying true to herself. <laughs> I don't think so, honey. I don't know. All right, her motto is here comes the sun. Do, do, do. Who's the one who has the poop hang-ups? Uh, <laughs> that was the guy with the tiny bangs. Here comes Nick. the sun. Nick. Nick yeah. will do, do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, her, like we said, her favorite was Paul. She had a couple of issues with his strategy, though. Um, but she is going to go in there. I think she's going to be good at, at the puzzle competitions because... She, she loves Nancy Drew video games. I had one of those Nancy Drew computer games too. It was so much fun. Yeah. Uh, she's also the grammar police. You better keep that in check, girl, because nobody wants to be corrected. No. Especially with that New York accent, people are not going to be uh, <laughs> buying that. Sorry. Um, excuse me, which they did you use? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't write it. <laughs> All right. Uh, she was a handful of a child. She called 911 on her parents because she didn't get her way. That's She also insane. locked them in the basement. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> she's very smart and quirky. She's also a crier. She gets emotional, okay? She's a There's crier. There's a lot of emotional she's people a crier. this season. Um, she's also an angry New Yorker, so don't let that come out, honey. Woo! It's I've be been there. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Her hashtag for herself was quirky queen. We both came to a consensus here. Yes. Nerd girl. No, oh, not that it's a bad thing. No, nerd. I would consider myself a nerd girl. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Me, I mean, yes, you. yes. All right, well, that's the cast. Those are the 16 newbies, so let us know who you guys are rooting for, who Leave your early your favorites are. Leave your conspiracy theories in the info box, not in the info box, in the comments. Yeah. Uh, we'll be but having... check out the info box for more info on the premiere party. Right. We'll also be having more videos coming out this week. Yeah, we're going to talk when the... about the house theme. And the twists, if any are revealed before hopefully the show actually us. starts. Yeah. And uh, we'll tell you about any leaks we also see. I feel like there's not going to be as many leaks this season. Usually the cast would get leaked like either the night before or like a few hours before. It didn't happen this year. No. Nope. They had that crackdown after the Vegas thing. Yeah. So we'll see. See what happens. But if, uh, if we know something, you'll know something. All right. So thank you for watching. Again, congratulate yourself if you've made it this far. Hope this is going to be a great season. Hope you join us. Uh, we do daily recaps and... Show, broadcast show recaps check out our patreon link in the info box below and until next time much, much love, love.